Welcome to Motive Emistery, where the wisdom of the ages meets the challenges of today. In this video, we delve into the profound world of Esrin Kierkegaard, a Danish philosopher, theologian, poet, social critic, and religious author. Kierkegaard is often considered the father of existentialism, with his philosophical works exploring the complexities of individual existence and the essence of human emotions. Kierkegaard's writings, characterized by irony, metaphors, and paradoxes, challenge the conventional thinking of his time. His focus on personal choice, freedom, and the subjective experience of reality has left a significant impact on philosophy, theology, and literature. His work, which often contemplates the themes of anxiety, despair, faith, and the search for self, continues to resonate with modern audiences, inviting introspection and reflection on the human condition. Join us as we explore 30 of Kierkegaard's most influential quotes, revealing the depth of his thought and its relevance to contemporary life. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Diving into history, this reflection is often attributed to Esrin Kierkegaard, a philosopher known for his work on existentialism and the human condition. At its core, this quote emphasizes the paradox of life's understanding and its progression. It highlights that wisdom often comes from reflection, yet life demands forward motion. In our ever-changing world, this quote resonates, reminding us that while we learn from the past, we must courageously move into the future. The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. This thought-provoking statement comes from Esrin Kierkegaard, emphasizing the introspective and transformative power of prayer. The essence of this quote lies in understanding prayer as a tool for personal growth and self-reflection, rather than a means to request divine intervention. In our contemporary society, this perspective offers a deep insight into the personal nature of spirituality and its role in self-development. People demand freedom of speech as a compensation for the freedom of thought which they seldom use. Originating from Esrin Kierkegaard, this statement critiques the underutilization of critical thinking in society. Its essence is to challenge the idea that while people fight for the right to express, they often neglect the deeper responsibility of thoughtful contemplation. In the current era of information overload, this quote is increasingly relevant, urging us to value and exercise our freedom of thought as much as our freedom of speech. Anxiety is the dizziness of freedom. This profound statement by S. Rin Kierkegaard reflects on the overwhelming possibilities that freedom can present. The essence here is the paradox of freedom. It offers endless choices but can also lead to the anxiety of making those choices. In today's fast-paced and option-rich environment, this quote resonates, reminding us of the importance of managing the freedom we possess with mindfulness and purpose. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. This insight, attributed to Esrin Kierkegaard, challenges the notion of life as a series of problems needing solutions. The essence of this quote lies in embracing life as a journey of experiences, not just challenges to be overcome. In today's goal-oriented society, this perspective reminds us to value the process of living and the experiences it brings, rather than just focusing on solving problems. People understand me so poorly that they don't even understand my complaint about them not understanding me. This quote from S. Rin Kierkegaard reflects his frustration with being misunderstood. Its essence highlights the complexities of human communication and the difficulty of truly being understood by others. In our interconnected world, this quote underlines the importance of empathy and striving for deeper understanding in our interactions. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true, the other is to refuse to believe what is true. This profound observation by S. Rin Kierkegaard speaks to the nature of self-deception and gullibility. It underscores the importance of critical thinking and discernment in distinguishing truth from falsehood. In an age of misinformation, this quote is especially relevant, reminding us to be vigilant in our quest for truth and not to fall prey to false beliefs or denial of facts. The most common form of despair is not being who you are. This Kierkegaardian insight delves into the concept of self-identity and authenticity. It emphasizes the existential struggle of living inauthentically, suggesting that true despair stems from not embracing one's true self. 
In our modern world, this quote encourages introspection and the pursuit of personal authenticity as a path to fulfillment. It is perfectly true, as philosophers say, that life must be understood backwards. But they forget the other proposition, that it must be lived forwards. S. Rin Kierkegaard emphasizes the duality of understanding life's past while living for the future. This quote's essence is about balancing reflection with progression, acknowledging the past but not being hindered by it. In today's rapidly evolving world, this perspective is crucial, guiding us to learn from our history while actively shaping our future. The greatest hazard of all, losing oneself, can occur very quietly in the world, as if it were nothing at all. No other loss can occur so quietly. Any other loss an arm, a leg, five dollars, a wife, etc. is sure to be noticed. Kierkegaard highlights the subtle danger of losing oneself in the mundanity of life. This quote warns us about the silent, unnoticed loss of identity, overshadowed by more tangible losses. It reminds us to be vigilant in preserving our true selves amidst life's distractions. I see it all perfectly. There are two possible situations one can either do this or that. My honest opinion and my friendly advice is this, do it or do not do it you will regret both. Kierkegaard delves into the inevitability of decision making and its consequences. This quote reflects the paradox of choice, where every decision comes with its own set of regrets. It speaks to the modern dilemma of making choices in a world filled with endless possibilities. What labels me, negates me. Kierkegaard criticizes the reduction of complex human identity to simple labels. This quote challenges the notion of defining individuals by superficial categories. In our current age of labels and stereotypes, it urges us to look beyond superficial categorizations and appreciate individual complexity. The most painful state of being is remembering the future, particularly the one you'll never have. Kierkegaard touches upon the anguish of unrealized potential and lost opportunities. This quote dives into the sorrow of grappling with unfulfilled dreams and aspirations. It resonates in today's context, reminding us of the importance of pursuing our goals and living in the present. The Bible is very easy to understand, but we Christians are a bunch of scheming swindlers. We pretend to be unable to understand it because we know very well that the minute we understand, we are obliged to act accordingly. Kierkegaard critiques the tendency of religious individuals to avoid the true essence of spiritual teachings. This quote questions the authenticity of our understanding and the hypocrisy in practicing religion. It highlights the need for genuine introspection and living out one's beliefs in today's world. In addition to my other numerous acquaintances, I have one more intimate confidant my depression is the most faithful mistress I have known no wonder then that I return the love. Kierkegaard, a Danish philosopher, deeply explored the complexities of human emotions and mental states in his works. Kierkegaard's quote symbolizes the intricate bond we often form with our inner struggles, presenting them as an integral part of our identity. This quote remains relevant as it encourages a deeper understanding and acceptance of our mental health vital in today's society where mental well-being is increasingly recognized. What is a poet? An unhappy man who hides deep anguish in his heart, but whose lips are so formed that when the sigh and cry pass through them, it sounds like lovely music. And people flock around the poet and say, sing again soon that is, may new sufferings torment your soul but your lips be fashioned as before, for the cry would only frighten us, but the music, that is blissful. Kierkegaard vividly portrays the poet's paradox, the ability to transform personal anguish into beautiful art, yet often misunderstood and romanticized by others. This quote reflects on the dichotomy between the poet's inner suffering and the external beauty created from it, questioning the cost of artistry. Its relevance lies in the modern-day context of how artists' struggles are often glamorized, highlighting the need for deeper understanding and appreciation of the creative process. A fire broke out backstage in a theater. The clown came out to warn the public, they thought it was a joke and applauded. He repeated it, the acclaim was even greater. I think that's just how the world will come to an end, to general applause from wits who believe it's a joke. This quote illustrates the irony of how serious warnings can be misinterpreted as entertainment, especially when delivered by a figure known for humor. 
Kierkegaard's insight speaks to the dangers of dismissing important messages due to preconceptions about the messenger. In contemporary times, this concept is increasingly relevant in the context of social media and news where critical information can be overlooked or trivialized. Love is the expression of the one who loves, not of the one who is loved. Those who think they can love only the people they prefer do not love at all. Love discovers truths about individuals that others cannot see. Kierkegaard emphasizes the selfless nature of true love, which transcends personal preferences and biases. This quote delves into the essence of love as a force that reveals unseen virtues and truths in others, independent of our own desires. Its relevance today is profound, reminding us to look beyond superficial attractions and to appreciate the deeper qualities and potential in those around us. What if everything in the world were a misunderstanding? What if laughter were really tears? Kierkegaard challenges us to question the reality of our perceptions and the true nature of our emotions. This quote prompts a reflection on the fine line between joy and sorrow, and how easily our understanding can be flipped. In today's complex world, it underscores the importance of empathy and the realization that appearances can be deceiving. To dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself. Esrin Kierkegaard, a philosopher known for his work on existentialism and the importance of individual choice, brought forth this saying during the 19th century, a period of deep philosophical exploration. Kierkegaard's quote underscores the importance of action and the inherent risks of decision-making, revealing that the act of daring involves a transient state of uncertainty, but not daring leads to a more profound loss, that of one's identity. In our contemporary world, filled with choices and challenges, this quote resonates by emphasizing the significance of embracing uncertainty and taking bold steps, vital for personal growth and self-realization. If I were to wish for anything, I should not wish for wealth and power, but for the passionate sense of the potential, for the eye which, every young and ardent, sees the possible. Pleasure disappoints, possibility never. And what wine is so sparkling, what's so fragrant, what's so intoxicating, as possibility? This profound insight by Kierkegaard illuminates his belief in the endless potential of the human spirit. In an age of materialism, he emphasized the value of seeing beyond tangible pleasures to the boundless realm of possibilities. This quote captures the essence of looking beyond immediate gratification towards the exhilarating potential that life offers. It's about finding joy in the journey, not just the destination. In today's world, where the pursuit of pleasure often overshadows deeper aspirations, this quote serves as a reminder of the exhilarating joy found in exploring life's endless possibilities. Once you label me, you negate me. Kierkegaard, in his critique of societal norms and labels, highlights the danger of reducing individuals to mere categories. This perspective emerged during a time when societal roles were rigidly defined. The essence of this quote lies in its assertion of individual complexity and the rejection of oversimplification. It advocates for seeing people as multifaceted beings, not just as labels. In the modern context, where stereotypes and labels are prevalent, this quote resonates by encouraging a more nuanced and empathetic approach to understanding others. The tyrant dies and his rule is over, the martyr dies and his rule begins. This quote reflects Kierkegaard's view on the transient nature of power and the enduring impact of ideas. It was a statement against the backdrop of historical events where rulers and ideologies clashed. At its core, this saying underlines the power of ideas and principles over physical might. It suggests that true influence extends beyond the physical realm. In contemporary society, this quote is a reminder of the lasting legacy that ideas and values can leave, surpassing temporal authority and influencing generations. To venture causes anxiety, but not to venture is to lose oneself. And to venture in the highest is precisely to be conscious of oneself. This statement by Kierkegaard illustrates his exploration of the human psyche, particularly the tension between safety and growth. He lived in a time when the societal norm was to conform, making his advocacy for self-discovery revolutionary. At the essence of this quote is the concept that personal growth is often accompanied by discomfort and anxiety, 
yet it's crucial for self-awareness and development. In our contemporary society, this quote encourages us to embrace challenges and uncertainties as part of the journey towards self-realization, a message especially relevant to those seeking purpose and growth. Face the facts of being what you are, for that is what changes what you are. Kierkegaard's focus on self-reflection and the importance of facing one's true nature was a cornerstone of his philosophical thought. He encouraged a departure from societal expectations to embrace individual authenticity. This quote highlights the transformative power of self-acceptance and the courage it takes to confront and embrace our true selves. It resonates in today's context by encouraging us to acknowledge and confront our own realities, a process essential for personal evolution and authenticity. God creates out of nothing. Wonderful, you say. Yes, to be sure. But he does what is still more wonderful. He makes saints out of sinners. This quote reflects Kierkegaard's deep engagement with theological concepts, emphasizing the transformative power of faith and redemption. It was part of his broader discussions on the nature of divinity and human imperfection. At its core, this saying speaks to the potential for transformation and redemption in every individual, regardless of their past. Today, this quote inspires a sense of hope and the belief in the possibility of change and betterment a powerful message for anyone grappling with personal challenges or seeking spiritual growth. Above all, do not lose your desire to walk every day. I walk myself into a state of well-being and walk away from every illness. I have walked myself into my best thoughts, and I know of no thought so burdensome that one cannot walk away from it. But by sitting still, and the more one sits still, the closer one comes to feeling ill. Thus if one just keeps on walking, everything will be all right. Kierkegaard, in this quote, illustrates the therapeutic power of walking and its impact on mental health. This idea was quite ahead of its time, considering the 19th century context when physical activity wasn't widely recognized for its mental benefits. The essence of this quote lies in the idea that physical movement, particularly walking, can be a powerful tool for overcoming mental burdens and fostering well-being. In today's fast-paced world, this quote is a gentle reminder of the importance of physical activity for mental health, encouraging a simple yet effective way to maintain well-being. If anyone on the verge of action should judge himself according to the outcome, he would never begin. This statement reflects Kierkegaard's exploration of the human tendency to overthink and the paralysis it can cause. It's a profound observation that was relevant in his time and continues to be so in the modern era. At its core, this quote is about the crippling effect of overanalyzing potential outcomes and the importance of taking action despite uncertainty. In our current context, it resonates by encouraging us to overcome analysis paralysis and embrace the unknown, emphasizing the value of action over inaction. To cheat oneself out of love is the most terrible deception. It is an eternal loss for which there is no reparation, either in time or in eternity. This poignant reflection by Kierkegaard underscores the tragedy of denying oneself the experience of love. His work often dwelled on the complexities of human emotions and the consequences of our choices. At its essence, this quote speaks to the profound impact of self-deception in matters of the heart and the irrevocable loss that comes from not allowing oneself to love and be loved. In today's context, it serves as a reminder of the importance of embracing vulnerability and the authenticity of emotions in our relationships and personal growth. The proud person always wants to do the right thing, the great thing. But because he wants to do it in his own strength, he is fighting not with man, but with God. This statement reflects Kierkegaard's deep insight into the nature of pride and the inherent conflict it creates. His philosophical writings often explored the themes of ego, humility, and divine will. The essence of this quote lies in the paradox of pride, where the desire to achieve greatness can lead to a struggle against one's own limitations and the greater forces of life. In our modern life, it reminds us of the need for humility and the recognition that true greatness often requires collaboration, not just individual effort. Appreciation for joining our journey.